The Cape had an interesting year. There was a lot of talk about how the Cape was struggling with the rental market, and the people who bought during COVID were actually losing some interest with those uh, coveted COVID purchases. So what did the data say for 2023? Which Cape Cod towns appreciated? And yes, what Cape Cod towns depreciated? Yup, as a matter of fact, four Cape Cod towns appreciated in both average sales price and median sales price. Seven saw the average home price appreciate, while five saw median home prices decrease. So let's get into it, because that's all really confusing. But real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any real estate questions, then no, I am here to help. So let's start by working our way down, starting with the top appreciating towns. Now, Provincetown, or P-Town, leads the way, seeing the average home price appreciated by 38.2% to $2.429 million, while median prices increased by 22% to $2 million. It's important to note that P-Town saw a 42% decrease in the amount of single-family homes sold. It's kind of crazy. There were only 18 homes sold in 2023, which is compared to the 31 in 2022. Now, the second highest appreciating Cape Cod town is Bourne, Massachusetts. Now, Bourne saw 223 homes sell in 2023, which is compared to the 290 sold in 2022. And this represents a 23.1% decrease in sales activity. Meanwhile, the average home price was up 13.8% to $687,000, and the median price was up by 14.3% to $600,000. I'm going to give Eastham the win for the third best town on the Cape in 2023, and you're going to see why in a moment. The amount of homes sold was down by 5.3% to 124 units sold in 2023. Meanwhile, the average home price was up by 7% to 836 grand, and the median price was up by 7.7% to $762,000 in 2023. Now, Falmouth earned the number four spot with an average sale price of $909,000, which represented a 5.2% increase in the average sale price. Meanwhile, the median price was up by 3.7% to a price of $700,000. Sales were down low to 13.2% for Falmouth in 2023, with 498 single family homes closing. The fifth down on the Cape was Barnstable who saw a Cape Cod sales high of 578 single-family homes sold in 2023. Now, this represented a 26.4% decrease in sales activity. The average sale price in Barnstable was up by 5.8% to $894,000, while the median price was up by 2.4% to $622,000. Sandwich earned the number six spot with 309 single-family homes sold. Now, this represented a 5.5% decrease in sales activity, Meanwhile, sales were slightly down while the average home price was slightly up at 1.6% to a home price of $723,000. And that median price was up by 6.1% to a price of $640,000. Wealthfleet found its spot in number seven. And believe it or not, it was the seventh spot that I was going back and forth as to whether to give the third spot. And here's why. The average home price was up by 7.5% to $1,032,000, but the median sale price was down by 0.9% to a price of 857 grand in 2023. Basically, how I ended up figuring out the ranking order is by averaging the median and average sale price. Now, sales in Wealthfleet were actually up a Cape Cod high of 11.1% to 70 home sales in 2023. Yarmouth was the eighth best town on the Cape. It was actually opposite of Wealthly. The average price was down 0.4% to an average sale price of $612,000. Meanwhile, the median price was up by 6.7% to 560 grand. The average and the medians being positive and negative, well, they switched. Sales, however, they were down by 18.6% with 411 single-family houses trading hands in 2023. Now let's get into the towns that saw prices go down. And then there's that wild card one. But we're going to get into that in just a minute. Now Brewster, it came in as the ninth town on the Cape for 2023 with substance that were right on the line. I think that will make sense in just a moment. The average oil price in Brewster was down by 2.1% to $877,000. The median price was down a half percent to $748,000. See? It's right on the line, barely in the negative territory. The 136 sales were down by 10% in 2023. Now, Orleans was ranked number 10 with 96 home sales in 2023. This represented a 10.3% decrease in sales activity. 
the average home price was down by 5.8% to $1.229 million. The median home price was down by 0.3% to $998,000. Three more towns left, which includes that wild card. Again, I think this wild card label will make sense in just a couple seconds. Now, Mashpee was in the number 11 spot. Mashpee, it saw the average home price go down by 3.3% to $964,000 in 2023. Then that median home price was down by 5.9% to $706,000. The 238 sales were down by 17.9% in 2023. That brings us to Chatham. We were in the 12th spot from the Cape for 2023. The amount of sales in Chatham were actually down by 24.4% with 136 single-family houses sold in 2023. The average home price was down by 4.8% to $1.639 million. Meanwhile, the median home price was down 6.4% to $1.1 million. So that brings us to the, um, well, I guess the worst town on the Cape for 2023, as well as that wild card. Harwich had 232 single-family houses sell in 2023. Now, the average home price was down by 25.7% to $945,000. So here's where the wild part comes in. The median sale price was actually up by 5.3% to $695,000. I stayed true to my process, and the average of the median and the average sales price was, well, the lowest of the bunch. Curious about what was going on in, well, maybe west of Boston or south of Boston or north of Boston. How about the Boston Metro Market in 2023? Well, then be sure to check out those videos on the channel. As always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind. Should you or anyone you know be thinking about buying or selling a home in 2024? And let me know if you have any questions. You can drop me a line in that comment section below or... I invite you to reach out to me as all my contact information is in the description below as well. And by the way, if you like the video, I truly appreciate you sharing it as well as liking it. It just makes a huge difference for the channel. Until next time.